Man, Konami really loves their blue eyes. Hi, it's local dragon lady here. I was at work today. My messenger was lighting up. Hey, guess what? Blue Eyes is getting a bunch of new support. Now we did get some recently from the tins. Their primary card being the True Light, which is a very, very good card. Uh, essentially, it's basically a Blue Eyes version of Eternal Soul for any of you who are familiar with playing Dark Magicians. But Battle of Chaos. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to see these cards until early in the new year, which is okay. You know, we're it's not that far away but blue eyes white dragon man um konami just loves this monster a lot now will these cards make the deck meta relevant i mean i don't know but uh blue eyes is a really fun deck to play with anyway so okay so we have aberration with the eyes of blue interesting name it's a continuous magic card uh, you only activate one card with this card's name per turn Okay, so when you activate this card, you can also reveal one blue eyes white dragon in your hand. If you do, did as it says here, special summon one monster from your hand. Okay, so it's good for um, a you know, free special summon and good for extenders. Um, now, of course, that special summon monster can be a tuner, so it's a good way to get your synchros on, you know, taking off. Uh, um, number two, uh, once per turn, you can target one face-up monster you control. Return that face-up monster to the hand. Then you can apply one of these effects based on the original name. So if you return a blue eyes white dragon, special summon, special summon one monster from your hand. Otherwise, special summon one blue eyes monster from your hand. Okay, that's interesting. A little recycling, bouncing back and forth. So uh, I think this card is primarily uh, good for extension, like for the special summoning. So it's good for getting your synchros um, off the ground. Uh, next, we have Ultimate Fusion. So, yeah, a lot of archetypes seem to have their special, specialized fusion cards. Uh, Blue Eyes finally get one, and it's a quick play magic card, so you can activate this on your opponent's turn. So you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. So, uh, during the main phase, Fusion summon one fusion monster that lists Blue Eyes White Dragon or Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon as material by shuffling fusion materials listed on it from your hand, field, or graveyard into the deck, including at least one Blue Eyes White Dragon or Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Then you can destroy face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of Blue Eyes White Dragon and Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon as material from the field. So this is actually pretty neat here. Uh, it's an easy way to fusion summon and wipe out your opponent's board, you know, depending on how many Blue Eyes White Dragons or Ultimate uh, that you use as material. So this is... yeah, uh, I like this. It's kind of like a fusion, Cyber Fusion Overload for Cyber Dragons. It enables you to use it um, on your opponent's turn. It's about time Blue Eyes got their own version of that. So I like this. Uh, I do play Blue Eyes Fusions. Um, this is definitely a card I'll be adding to it to add more oof, which I'm all about the oof. Uh, okay, Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. Now, we, we, we all seen this card in the anime, the arc that involved the legendary dragons. I'm surprised this card wasn't released yet. So, technically, what it was in the anime, it was a blue white dragon that can attack twice, because that's sort of the signature move that the tyrant dragon does. It can attack twice. So, it's a fusion monster, a blue eyes white dragon, uh, plus one dragon monster. So, that's going to be pretty easy for a blue eyes tag. Any dragon you want uh, must first be either a fusion summoned or a special summoned from your extra deck by tributing one blue eyes white dragon equipped with a fusion monster. All right. So. This card is unaffected by trap effects, which is the same as the original Tyrant Dragon. It can't be targeted by trap effects. So this one is unaffected by all trap effects. Uh, two, this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. So the original Tyrant Dragon can only attack twice, providing a monster, you know, additional monster in the field. But this one can attack all of them. So hey, as long as they're weaker than 3400 attack, which is a pretty big beat stick. Bye-bye, uh, monsters. And three, once per turn, if this card battles, at the end of the damage step, you can target one trap in your graveyard and set it to your spell trap zone. So, 
Yeah, uh, what you can do is if you have the ultimate creature of destruction trap in your graveyard already, you can just take that out and set it. So that will give you immunity. So yeah, this is this is definitely interesting. Uh, I don't recall that effect in the anime. I don't think it did. It was just a fusion between a tyrant dragon and a blue eyes that attacked multiple times. So gotta love that. Uh, okay, <laughs> the tyrant of D, the tyrant of dragon. So they they are not finished with the Lord of Dragons. Like you get the Lord of Dragons, you use the flute. Uh, you had the uh, the second one. Oh, I forget its name, but it basically its name becomes Lord of Dragons. Um, allows you to add like a flute to your hand, so different effects. So, okay, it's a level four dark spellcaster, so you can normal summon if, if you want, but uh, you can only use one or two effect of this card's name each once per turn. So, one, you can send one blossom by dragon from your hand or deck to the graveyard, so it's like a foolish burial if you want it to be. Special summon this card from your hand. Okay, so it's a free special summon. Uh, you can reserve your normal summon for another monster. So, bam, full burial your blue eyes, get this guy in the field. Uh, two, you can discard one blue eyes white dragon or one card that specifically lists in its text, then target one blue eyes monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Now, this is very interesting because the first card I think about is the dragon spirit of white. Now, um, if you're able to get into that graveyard by an earlier card effect, say if you'd use a Dragon Shrine, for example, uh, with the Tyrant of D, uh, you can bring out your Dragon Spirit of White, because that is considered to be a Blue Eyes monster, so you can banish one of your opponent's back row cards. So I love this effect. Uh, three, if you control a Blue Eyes monster, so that includes the Dragon Spirit of White, uh, you choose the attack targets for your opponent's attack. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have a blue eyes white dragon, dragon spirit of white. Uh, as long as the time of the D stays on the field, when your opponent goes to attack, you can tell them, okay, uh-uh, you can't attack my time of the D. You have to attack my blue eyes white dragons, which most likely has higher attack than what your opponent has. So this is definitely a janky play. Nothing meta, but it's totally janky. I love it. I, I definitely got to try this at least once, once it comes out. Uh, last but not least, <laughs> I'm surprised this wasn't made to a card yet. The Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Listen, like, when we all first seen this thing in the first Yu-Gi-Oh! movie, like, the Blue Eyes Jet, that was basically a meme before Facebook was a thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure it came before Facebook. That was quite a while ago, but... This, I think, is one of the best cards out of the bunch. The other ones are pretty good. So it's a level eight light dragon effect. Uh, now you can only use one and three effect of this card's name once per turn. Uh, you must have blue eyes white dragon on your field in your gr or in your graveyard to activate these effects. Okay, so the first effect, if a card or cards on the field is destroyed by a battle or a card effect, you can special summon this card from your graveyard if it was there when they were destroyed or hand, even if not. So that's a little <laughs> a little strange there, like the way they got a word up there. So, okay, so this this card can already be in your graveyard. I'm sure it's easy to get there. Um, it is a dragon, so if you were to use a dragon shrine, you can ditch it in there. So you can special summon this card from your graveyard. Bam. Okay, it just comes back. Uh, number two, other cards you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Okay, it, as long as this jet is on the field, any other dragon you have, blue eyes, whatever, like they're immune to destruction, which is really, really nice, because a lot of monsters have destruction effects. Uh, three, uh, at the start of the damage step, if this card battles, you can target one card your opponent controls and return it to the hand. Now, the unfortunate thing about this one is um, it does target. I'm a fan of non-targeting removal, which is why I, I play Ritual Control a lot with the boyfriend. So a boyfriend can just bounce cards back to the hand, non-targeting. And same thing with his pet snake, his pet Leviathan. Uh, same sort of thing, you only catch with that card. It has to be 2300 attack or lower for that to go through to bounce everything. So uh, yes, this this basically a free special summon. Uh, protects all your monsters from destruction effects. And um, 
during a damage step, you can target one card your opponent controls and return it to the hand. So you don't necessarily have to be um, the actual monkey you're attacking into. That's what I'm gathering from gathering from all this. It seems to me that okay, say if you know three thousand beat stick. You attack into a weaker monster, you can destroy it, but you can pick something else on the field. Okay, well, I'm gonna destroy that card as well. Now, here's the wild thing about these cards. They all have, now with the exception of the fusion, uh, they all have blue eyes, white dragon in the text, which means all of these are searchable with Bingo Machine Go, which is crazy. That card is gonna be super valuable by the time these come out. And um, the thing is with the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon is this is also searchable off the Melody Awakening Dragon. It has an attack of 3,000, defense is zero, so it meets the criteria of being searched. So, what do you all think? I'm sure there's a lot of Blue Eyes duelists out there that's raving about these. They're probably like, oh my goodness, these are amazing cards. Some of them not so much. Um, I don't think it'll make the deck super duper competitive, but I think it's going to give Blue Eyes Duelists more options, have a lot more fun, and uh, yeah, just let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you excited? Do you think our things are think it's a dud? <laughs> Sorry, I am so tired from work today. Yeah, let me know in the comments below, and as always, remember to be a good sport, play the game, not the fame, and I am going to take a nap. Bye!